Hi everyone, it's Phil again. And we said we'd have a go at juggling, so let's try. This is the first lesson and it's going to be very simple and we'll take it uh, nice and slow. And all you need to begin with is just three pairs of socks. And I have three I prepared earlier, as they say in the best uh, old TV programs. And uh, it is possible with three pairs of socks. Although it's not as easy as it is with juggling balls, but it is possible to juggle with socks. And I have here three juggling balls that you can buy as sets. Um, and they're a bit squishier, a bit easier to hold in the hand, but socks do work okay. So the first lesson is uh, going to be very easy. We, what I tend to do to make life easy, especially uh, at my age and for people that are older, is to learn to juggle in the bedroom over the bed. So beneath me here is the bed and around it I've put uh, pillows and duvet so that if the ball lands on the bed it doesn't bounce around all over the place but stays just in front of me and I can pick it up nice and easy from the bed. Because if you don't do that lots of juggling on a flat floor means a lot of bending down and after a while that gets a bit frustrating. So I just thought I'd point out firstly on the wall just over there is my wonderful old sheepdog Bo, who I had many years ago, and she died at the age of 15. Uh, I miss her terribly, but uh, I don't have another dog at the moment, but she was great fun. She was a border collie, and she used to come flying with me when I used to go flying, and she'd sit in the plane, and I always felt that she was probably looking out the window counting the sheep. Anyhow, that's Bo. So, juggling. How do we start? We start with one ball and we take the dominant hand, which in my case is my right hand, and we throw it up in the air and we catch it. And it's all about being consistent. So you want the ball to go up and come back down to exactly the same place. And it needs to go to the same height each time. So the height needs to be just above the eye level, top of the head level. And the ball is held in a more or less open flat palm and comes back down into the flat palm. So that is something you can practice over and over, literally hundreds of times, until you get a consistent height and direction. So it comes back down into the hand without the hand having to move very far. Now I'm still very much a beginner, so this is very much the blind leading the blind. Anyway, once you've done that, then try with the other hand, the non-dominant hand and see how that goes. Oh, I'm not very good with my left hand and it takes a while to get the rhythm going. And once you've done that lots of times and I suggest you practice more with the non-dominant hand than the dominant hand to try and even them up, then the next thing is to throw from one hand to the other and to get that nice and consistent. So the ball flies in a nice arc, again to the same height from hand to hand. The other thing that's very important with all juggling is that we imagine the ball to be on a plane in front of us that is parallel to the line of the shoulders. So you want the balls to be going up and down the same plane from hand to hand. And what most people do when they begin juggling is they lean forward and the ball ends up going in front of them and lots of people who start juggling you see them walking forward as they try and juggle so one tip there is to slightly lean back it's easier to keep the ball on the same plane if you are leaning back and you don't want your hands too close to your body and you don't want them too far out they need to be in a nice relaxed position about here so I'll leave that for the moment that's lesson number one do a couple of hundred throws with each hand, more with the less dominant hand. And uh, in lesson two, we'll come back and have a go at two ball juggling. See you in a bit. 